Good evening. We begin with news. One lawyer calls unprecedented in Ontario history. The top cop for Durham Regional Police, along with several other members of the service, are being investigated by a provincial watchdog following what the lawyer says are serious allegations coming from within the force. A number of police officers from different ranks, all the way down from police constables to sergeants to inspectors to superintendents, uh, stepped forward with allegations of um, corrupt practices by the senior command. Um, I was retained in, in that matter by um, all of the officers to bring the allegations forward um, to the government. Lawyer Peter Browdy says he's representing seven members of the police service who brought forward these allegations in late 2018 and early 2019. City News hasn't verified the claims and they haven't been proven in court. Browdy, who has served as legal counsel for other high-profile police cases, says he contacted the province's solicitor general, who then ordered an investigation into high-ranking members of Durham Regional Police, including police chief Paul Martin, a former deputy chief and a chief administrative officer. The police service board was also named for, quote, not effectively overseeing the administration. And, uh, they're obviously concerned enough that they've taken the unprecedented a step of appointing an administ administer uh, to oversee uh, a lot of the policing powers while the investigation is ongoing. Neither Browdy or the province would elaborate further on the allegations saying they are under investigation. City News has reached out to the Durham Police Force and the lawyer is believed to be representing Martin and has not received a response. And the Office of the Solicitor General not releasing much information saying only that concerns about the police service and the board were brought to their attention. Quote, as a result, the Solicitor General requested that the Ontario Civilian Police Commission investigate these allegations. No one has been relieved of their duties. We understand the OCPC has launched an investigation into the allegations and has appointed an administrator. We have confidence in the OCPC to take the appropriate steps to investigate the allegations that have been brought forward. The people of Durham can be assured that the OCPC investigation does not impact frontline policing services. Meanwhile, Browdy tells City News Police Chief Paul Martin hasn't been removed from his position, but his powers have been diminished, adding that Mike Federico, a retired member of the Toronto Police, has been appointed as as the administrator, as the OCPC continues its investigation. He will be overseeing uh, the police service and a lot of its functions. Um, and so a lot of the authority that the chief previously had will be given to the administrator. Now again, to be clear, these allegations have not been proven in court. We did reach out to the OCPC this evening, but did not hear back. Rowdy says the investigation, which could last a year, will get underway next week when witness interviews begin.